Hi, it's Yash. We're going to talk about wet dreams. I've gotten this question like three times in the last week, so maybe it needs to be addressed. First thing, don't worry about it. Okay, this is this is natural. It's going to happen for someone who <clears throat> just like started on this journey of semen retention, or even those who have um, been doing it for a while, and particularly those who are younger, because your biology is at that time is is. Uh, giving you the go-ahead to get pregnant so it's making a bunch of <laughs> did i say get you get pregnant to get a girl pregnant because um this is the time you know and so there's going to be there's more semen produced i'd say up to well from maybe 14 15 16 to 33 okay so there's going to be a lot of uh a lot of uh semen there to um sublimate so if you're not uh, masturbating if you're not watching porn if you're not doing anything like that this this semen builds up the only way the only way that you can because see it goes down it goes down the only way that you can uh, reverse that flow is through like a spiritual practice or through yoga but even yoga is not enough it's it, it's a it's a whole package deal you got to, your, your whole life has to be, be dedicated to freedom in the realest sense, which is to realize who we are beyond this human form, because then everything's going to match. And then everything we're doing is going to be at a high vibration and it's going to, this energy is going to start to start to raise. It's going to, it's going to reverse its flow. So then it's going to be more uh, of a systemic flow. It's all through your body. Okay. It's not just going straight down. Also, when you have uh, wet dreams, you don't lose. It's not like you've masturbated where you lose the whole, um, all the constituents in the semen. When you, when you have a wet dream, you're not, you're not losing much ogis, which is the energetic essence of the semen. This is what you want to keep. This is, this is the, the gold, so to speak. You, you, you lose prostate fluid when you have a, a, a wet dream. Ultimately, of course, we want to preserve everything because if you're having a wet dream, still, you know, uh, some some vital force leaks out. But there's all levels to this, man. You you can't. Don't let the mind try to trap you and beat you up, and say, ah, oh, you failed because you had a wet dream. You're doing much better than probably 90% of of men between the ages of, you know, well nowadays they start masturbating maybe at nine or ten up to you know 30s or 40s so you're doing better than all them if you're not if you're not engaging in the masturbation habit at some point the wet dreams they're going to calm down it's like when you start this semen retention journey you um first first thing is the challenge is on a physical level okay you just you stop looking at porn, you, start, you stop masturbating, you start preserving your energy. When you start to become an adept at that, it's like the consciousness wants to go to the next level <clears throat> to transcend. The next level is more in the subconscious mind. It's more on a, you know, energetic level, astral level. So that's where the subconscious tendencies live. So technically if somebody has a wet dream and the, the guy mentioned this when he in his comment he, he asked he said something like I must be still thinking too much about women or or something like that yeah technically yeah there's still some lusting and edging going down throughout the day even though it might be subtle it's great it's great you see you, you, you don't just transcend all this in in one time like if you were to quit smoking or coffee you just or alcohol, you just put it down. This you can't put down. It's like in our whole system, in our whole biology. It's in our blood. It's everywhere. This, uh, this energy that we call ogis and semen. So once you transcend on physical level or once you start mastering that, then you got to transcend and master on the subconscious level. The best way to do that is to be very attentive of of where your mind is at during the day before you sleep and rather that be in public or when you're alone are you still having fantasies you know and 
And when you still look at girls, are you still objectifying them? You still wishing on some level like, ooh, that'd be nice to get with that. You got to catch it though. It's subtle. You see, some people are doing this and if I was to ask them, they say, no, I'm not doing it. Because it's not like it's a gross, obvious level in the mind that says, wow, I'd really like to have sex with her. Or if you're alone and you're having fantasies, maybe they're not so vivid. You're not actually imagining very specifically of a girl you want to have sex with and you imagine yourself having sex. You're not doing that. It's more like staticky, you know? It's more, <clears throat> it's subtle. They're just, it might be just tendencies that go unchecked. You're, you're kind of, you just kind of enjoying this sexual uh, kind of edging energy. Maybe you don't even put any form to it. It's just there, but, but it's going unchecked. You're letting it be there and something's kind of cooperating with it and enjoying that a little bit because it's still a dopamine hit on a subtle level. So I hope you can understand there's subtle levels to this. There's all kinds of levels. You get the obvious level, which we all know, and then you have more subtle, more subtle, more subtle. See, we're getting into edging and uh, talk now. So, <clears throat> so that's what causes the wet dreams. Like I said, you keep going. Tra have fun with this, you know? Like, like, look at your progress. Like now, whoa, I'm at the next level now. Look at it like that. Don't let your mind, you know, oh man, like, you know, whatever, the negative. Look at what you're doing, and then you're going to enjoy when you transcend this. And then you're going to be qualified to, if somebody has a question about this, you're going to be able to help them. You can share from direct experience and knowledge and living wisdom how your process went and how you transcended it. This is the whole, the whole thing. And what's the main reason that we're transcending uh, or reversing this flow of uh, life force that we call semen? What's the main reason? Is it to, um, you know, get girls and uh, make money and all that? That can be secondary. That's okay. But what's the main reason? So that then we have more energy, more subtle perception in mind for the consciousness to disengage from this human form and start to realize that it's consciousness. This is the main goal. This is the main goal of any video I share. It has to be every video is underpinned with that. Diet, semen retention, you know, uh, lifestyle, good healthy lifestyle habits. All that is done so that we can experience our true self. Otherwise, we're going to be in this duality and there's always going to be another problem to fix and etc. Last thing, foods. Foods that can help See, when you're eating heavy, like a heavy diet, a lot of meats and, and all this stuff, and I'm not about dogma. I don't care what anybody eats. I'm not against anything or really for anything either. Uh, when, you, when you eat these heavy foods, see, I know how this works. There's more energy it takes for the body to digest these heavy foods. That puts more pressure on the nervous system. The nervous system is more restless. That's going to activate the mind. The mind's going to go to its regular habit which is uh it's it activates the lust in the 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 sexual apparatus you could say because it's it's it, it's getting these waves of restless restlessness and so then it activates that sexual energy and then the mind amplifies it starts sending thoughts you know so when you drink try to drink like half a day at least just drink liquids Fruit juice, vegetable juice, coconut water, different teas. Experiment with uh, tonics, with essential oils. <clears throat> Experiment what uh, what liquids do your body good. So you, you, you don't want to starve yourself. There's certain liquids we can drink, particularly coconut water. I know a lot of people probably aren't, aren't in a spot where you can get fresh coconut like from the tree and drink it. <clears throat> But that's a good one because it's hydrating, alkalizing, and keyword satisfying and easy to digest. See, when we have liquids like that, when we're consuming liquids, it's really easy to digest. And so there's less pressure on the nervous system. This is what we want. So, so there's these little tips and tricks and tools we can do. Not to mention uh, uh, a clean diet, it again makes the, the, the more quiet the mind is, the more you can contemplate on your true nature. Okay? Hope that helped. I'll talk to you soon, man.